Okay, so in the last couple of videos I've been loosely talking about um, a scenario in which your particular solution overlaps with your homogeneous solution, but I've never really been too explicit about it. So let's take a look let's, at this example here. Our classic differential equation, all of this is equal to an exponential function. So by the method of undetermined coefficients, we would guess that uh, the particular solution we should try out is going to be a constant times that exponential function with the same exponent. But notice, this term in our particular solution shows up in our homogeneous solution. They overlap, or they're linearly dependent. And if we were to plug this particular solution in, simply, well, we know simply by virtue of the fact that it's in the homogeneous solution, if we plug it in, everything in this differential equation will turn out to equal zero and not e to the 2x. So this is not a proper solution, which means if we want to try and find a solution, we're going to have to modify this somehow. Now, what you would do is you could modify it using the method of order of reduction, kind of in the same vein as we did for repeated roots. Essentially, guess um, some function v of x times e to the 2x, and then you plug it in and try and find a value for v of x that'll make it work. But it turns out that this will work just fine if v of x is just equal to x, which means that if any term in your particular solution is linearly dependent with any term in your homogeneous solution, if they overlap at all, you need to modify that term just by multiplying by x. And if we think about it, that makes sense. That's kind of like the easiest modification we can do to make these two terms, like, not linearly dependent. This would mean that for this example, we should guess the particular solution a x times e to the 2x. Now let's just plug it in, check to see that this actually works. So the first derivative using the product rule is just a e to the 2x plus 2a x e to the 2x. And I'm just going to simplify it by rewriting it as e to the 2x times a plus 2a x. In the second derivative, y double prime, the derivative of this, 2a e to the 2x plus 2a e to the 2x plus 4a x e to the 2x, which is just e to the 2x times 4a plus 4a. So let's plug all of these into this differential equation here. And we get that e to the 2x times 4a plus 4ax minus the first derivative, e to the 2x times a plus 2ax minus 2 times a times x e to the 2x. All of that should be equal to just e to the 2x. And I'm going to simplify by dividing by e to the 2x. And we get that 4a plus 4ax minus a minus 2ax minus 2ax, all of that is equal to 1. So this 4ax cancels with these 2 minus 2ax's, and we're left with 3a is equal to 1, or a is equal to 1 third, which means a particular solution should actually be one-third x times e to the 2x. But more importantly, this shows that this general form, or x times e to the 2x, or just modifying by multiplying by an x, that's valid. This is indeed a solution to this differential equation. So the major point is, if you ever see a term in your particular solution that is linearly dependent with a term in your homogeneous solution, then you should modify it by multiplying by x.
And I really have to stress that you only do that for a term that's overlapping. Like, let's just say that our particular solution, or our non-homogeneous part here, was e to the 2x plus x. Let's say it was that instead. In which case, we would say that, like, our knee-jerk reaction would be a e to the 2x plus b times x plus c. And you would look and compare that to your homogeneous solution, and you say, this overlaps, so I'm just going to multiply just this term by x. I'm not going to multiply the entire thing by x. Just this term. Now let's take a look at a interesting example. Let's take a look at the same differential equation, but this time the non-homogeneous term is x times e to the 2x. And I'm just going to basically rewrite the homogeneous solution. And okay, just take a look at just this g of x term. We would guess that our particular solution, since this is a polynomial term times an exponential, would guess a polynomial term times the exponential. But Here's the thing, this part right here, b times e to the 2x, that overlaps with this term right here. However, if we're going to modify this term, we actually end up modifying the, it by multiplying the entire thing by x. So we would say that the particular solution would be x times ax plus b times e to the 2x or just ax squared plus bx times e to the 2x. Now you may be thinking, why do we modify this whole thing? It was only b times e to the 2x that overlapped with this per, uh, homogeneous solution. Well, you see, if we were to actually distribute this out, if we, this would be a times x e to the 2x plus b e to the 2x. And you would say, okay, yeah, this is linearly dependent with this, so let's modify it by multiplying it by x. But now we're in a weird situation where this term is linearly dependent with this term, which means we need to multiply this term as well by x. So, in practice, we end up actually multiplying the entire polynomial by x. So if you ever have a polynomial times an exponential, or a polynomial times a sinusoid, and one of those terms overlaps with your homogeneous solution, then you'd have to mul modify the entire thing, basically multiplying every single term in the polynomial by x. And the reason why we do that is just to make sure that every single term in this is linearly independent with both every other term in the particular solution and with every term in your homogeneous solution. So, that's the rules for overlapping. Basically, one more thing to keep in mind whenever you look at uh, more differential equations, or non-homogeneous differential equations. So, with that, I'll see you in the next video.